For a control system with an open loop gain k, g p of s h of s equal to k over s times s plus 4, design a lead compensator by selecting values for k, z lead, and p lead so that the damping frequency is 4 radians per second and zeta is equal to 0 0.707. So now I'm going to make a quick sketch of the root locus. So here we have the real axis and the imaginary axis. We have a pole at zero. We have a pole at negative four. So these two poles will move towards each other and then split and go to infinity at negative two. So recall that for a zeta equal to 0 0.707, that yields an angle of theta equal to 45 degrees. So I now know that I need my desired poles, which I'm going to indicate by these boxes, to be at negative two plus or minus J two. So my characteristic equation is delta of S is equal to S squared plus four S plus K and my desired characteristic equation is S plus two plus J two times S plus two minus J two, which equals S squared plus four S plus eight. So in other words, to meet my percent overshoot requirement, K must equal eight. And this is step one in the design process. Step two. For step two, I must have a damping frequency of four radians per second. Now recall that I still must have zeta equal to 0 0.707. So to calculate sigma d, that would be equal to four times the tangent of 45 degrees, which also equals four. So my desired poles are now four plus or minus J four, or the desired characteristic equation is now S squared plus eight S plus 32. Okay, step three. So I'm going to sketch the root locus again and here are our original poles at zero and negative four. And here are the new desired poles at negative four plus J four and negative four minus J four. So what I'm going to do in this part is I am going to calculate the angle from the zero to each of these poles. So first, the angle to the desired pole from the zero is the arc tangent of four minus zero over negative four minus zero is equal to 135 degrees by putting it in the quick, correct quadrant, which is that angle. And then the angle from the pole at negative four to the desired pole would simply be, since it's straight up, the arc tangent of four minus zero over negative four minus negative four, which is 90 degrees. So the sum of the angles from the open loop transfer function is the sum of the angles from the zeros minus the sum of the angles from the poles. Since there are no zeros, it's zero minus the quantity, 135 plus 90, or negative 225 degrees. The angle deficiency is 180 
plus PS or 180 minus 225 degrees, which means we have an angle deficiency of 45 degrees. So now what you want to do is to design the lead compensator to supply this 45 degrees. Now let's go on to step four. The first thing we do in step four is we write the form GC of S is equal to S plus Z lead over S plus P lead. And we're going to select Z lead equal to four in order to cancel the pole at negative four. So now we have GC of S is equal to S plus four over S plus P lead. And now we need to find our new angle deficiency. So it's going to be the angle from P lead to our desired pole. So this is going to be the arc tangent of four minus zero over negative four minus negative P lead. And I know that this angle has to be 45 degrees in order to compensate for my deficiency. So when I solve this, this yields P lead is equal to eight. So if we look at this with respect to the root locus, what we have here is the original pole at the origin, the original pole at negative four, and now we have our compensator that has a pole out here at negative eight and a zero at negative four. And we show the desired pole PD at negative four plus J four and negative four minus J four. So we have P lead here and Z lead here. And finally, I write the compensator as GC of S is equal to S plus four over S plus eight. Step five. Recall that in the first step, we had K, G, P of S, H of S, and that's equal to eight over S times S plus four. And we now also have our compensator. So what we need to select now is K lead. So once we have the compensated system, we have K, GC of S, GP of S, H of S. So this is going to be the gain for K lead times S plus four over S plus eight times eight over S times S plus four. So we do have the S plus fours that cancel out. So this leaves us with K lead times eight divided by S times S plus eight. And we use our angle criterion in order to solve for K lead. So we have that the magnitude of 8K lead over S times S plus eight, that magnitude should equal one when S is equal to negative four plus J four. And this ensures that that desired pole will be on the root locus. So when we solve this, we get that K lead must equal four. So finally, the complete compensator is 
4 over s times s plus 8. And to check our work, so to check our work, we now have k, gc of s, gp of s, h of s is equal to 32 over s squared plus 8s. And the characteristic equation for the feedback control system would be s squared plus 8s plus 32, which does indeed have poles at negative 4 plus or minus j4. So our design does work.